Hey there, how are you going? It's Simon here. Thanks very much for watching this update video. About six months ago, I bought this G7 Capo and I was comparing it in the video to this Sharp Capo. Let's take a look. These are about 30 bucks here in Australia and the, this was, uh, uh, it was around $70. Um, so uh, it's gonna have to be twice as good, right? <laughs> That's how that one works. Now, this one here has got something called adaptive radius technology. It says here on the packet, which revolutionary new active string pad infinitely adapts to match any guitar perfectly. Wow, that's pretty epic. Push and then see if I can do this without dropping it. There you go. So you just basically push this up. I think that's more of a my guitar issue than the capo. Okay, so as you've seen, I quite like this initially. I think it was really good. Um, it's easy to put on the guitar, easy to pull off. The mechanism still is working just as well as the day I bought it, which is what you'd expect for sort of 75, 80 Australian dollars. And uh, this capo, which is probably about 25, 30 years old, also working just as well. I've had a few questions on my initial video about Okay, well, which one do you reckon is better now that you've had them for a little while? And which one would you recommend? Well, I can safely say they both do a great job, but however, with this one being half the price of the G7, I think you might as well just plump for that one. I can't really see a massive difference in the two capos. They both work really well. If anything, I find that you actually need to be a bit more careful with how you apply the G7. So for example, if I don't quite put it on top of the frets, if I don't quite put it sort of far, far enough on, you can hear that's a bit zingy there. But if you put it on properly, obviously no problem at all. Whereas I find the Shub Capo is a bit more forgiving. So if you were doing a really quick change halfway through a set, I never really had any problems with them. Um, that having said that, I haven't done any gigs over the last little while with the Corona. So I guess we'll find out when I do some gigs. But my initial reaction to the G7 is that whilst it's great capo, works really, really well, um, but the shub works just as well. Um, and maybe I find it a little easier to apply, even though the idea of the G7 that you just is a one hand sort of clasp situation um, is great. So thanks for watching this video. For more honest gear reviews with stuff that I bought with my own money and uh, regular lessons on Saturday mornings, please do subscribe and click the bell for notifications when those lessons come up. And of course, if you would like to support the channel, please go straight to www.patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell, where you are able to support the channel from as little as $3 a month. Thanks very much for watching. I do appreciate it. See you next time.